company law unit 4 so the first concept in company law unit 4 is shares so allotment of shares what do you mean by allotment of shares so acceptance of the company of the offer to take shares so if a company accepts a shareholder's offer to accept the shareholder shares then it is called allotment statutory restrictions on allotment what are the statutory restrictions on the allotment when the company is restricted on accepting an offer of shares someone buying a share first is minimum subscription and application money under section 39 so the company is prescribed with a minimum subscription so that minimum subscription must be prescribed in the prospectus that this much amount should be at least bought as a share so it is prescribed by SEBA, Security Exchange Board of India prescribes that minimum subscription. If minimum subscription not paid within 13 days, then the shareholder is a, money is returned. After allotment, the, they should file it with the registrar, a return of allotment. Then in case of a default, they have to pay penalty, 1000 per day until the, the default continues or 1 lakh, whichever is less. The next restriction is shares to be dealt in on stock exchange. So before issuing in prospectus, they should take permission from a recognized stock exchange. So only after they take a permission from a recognized stock exchange, they can issue in their prospectus to offer shares. So if they don't take permission of a stock exchange and they issue in a prospectus and sell shares, then they will be liable to fine of rupees 5 lakh to 50 lakh rupees. And also the officers will be liable to one year imprisonment plus 50,000 to 3 lakh rupees fine. If prospectus is oversubscribed, then the over subscription payment will be returned. Then a stock exchange name mentioned in prospectus. The stock exchange is name is mentioned in the prospectus. Then application money is stored in a separate bank account. So whoever buys a share, that money is separate in a separate bank account and be utilized, will be utilized only for the company purpose. Case law. Union of India vs. Allied International Products Limited. Supreme Court held even if one stock exchange come granted recognition, it would be sufficient to validate allotment. General principles as to allotment. So allotment by proper authority, only a proper authority can do allotment. So proper authority is by resolution in the board of meeting, board of directors. By passing a resolution in the board of directors, they can allot shares. Next is within a reasonable time. The allotment of shares should be done in a reasonable time. So if a person has applied to buy shares, then his application should be accepted within a reasonable time. So uh, six months was held to be not uh, held to be unreasonable, and the reasonable time is always a question of fact. Expiry of a reasonable time application revokes. So if a reasonable time has expired, then the application of that applicant to buy shares will revoke, cancelled. The must be communicated that uh, the buying of share must be communicated, allotment must be communicated, posting of properly addressed and a stamp letter is sufficient. So if the company posts the letter with the proper address and the proper stamp, then it is a sufficient way of communicating that their share has been allotted. Absolute and unconditional. So the application should be absolute and unconditional. Allotment absolute and in, in accordance with the, the term and condition of application. So what happens is the applicant, the share, person who wants to buy share, along with the application, he will mention certain conditions in the application. So the company, while accept, uh, accepting the allotment, they should also accept the condition. If they reject the condition and only do the allotment, the applicant has the power to reject the allotment. He will not be liable as a shareholder. So if the company ha has to allot him share, then they have to compulsorily mention it, take his condition. So if allotment then without fulfilling conditions, applicant may reject the offer. Okay, so household fire and carriage accident insurance co versus grant. So a letter of allotment posted and it was never reached to the applicant, but it was he was held as liable as a shareholder since it was posted properly. The next concept is transfer of shares. 
So according to section 44, shares and debentures are movable property and can be transferred. So restrictions on the transfer of shares. So preemption clauses. So what is this preemption clause? First of all, to sell the share should be always be done to the other members of the company. Only after the other members of the company refuse to buy the share, it should be sold to outsiders. It is called preemption clause. Judicial or quasi judicial interference in a transfer, restrictions of a judiciary. First is malafide. If the shareholders are selling, they are transferring their share in a, with a malafide intent, then a judiciary can interfere. The next is inadequacy of reasons. So the directors don't give sufficient reasons for a refusal of a transfer. So directors they refuse the, the it is subject to the acceptance of director they transfer. So if the directors they refuse to accept the, the transfer of a shareholder, then the director should give proper reasons to the court why they are refusing. The next is in a relevant consideration. So directors give regards to consideration under article before transfer. Case law. Harinagar Sugar Mills Limited vs. Sham Sundar Junjanwala. It is to be decided if a director in exercising power acting oppressive, corrupt, or malafide. Kinds of shares. Under section 43. The next important concept. So first we have equity shares and preferential shares. So the shares are divided into two major types. First is equity shares and the next is preferential shares. So what is equity shares? Equity shares represent ownership and give voting rights to the shareholders. This is the only difference. The equity shares holders get voting rights while the preferential shareholders do not get any voting rights. But preferential shareholders have their own profits. So what is it? Preferential shares. They get preference over other shareholders in terms of dividend payments and distribution of assets at the time of winding up. So dividend payment we will see in this unit only. So while well, paying the dividends, preference share shareholders are given first priority. And next, when the company is winding up, the company is totally bankrupt and it is winding up. At that time, the whatever the assets are they are distributing, first preference is given to preference shareholders. But they do not have any voting rights. Only equity shareholders have voting rights. So the preference shares uh, holders are uh, further divided into community preference shares. So if a dividend is unpaid in current year, then paid in the future. So they have a guaranteed uh, to pay, get a dividend in future, even if not paid in this year. The next is a non-community preference shares. So if not paid this year dividend, then uh, they don't have right to claim dividend in next year. Participating preference shares. So they, these uh, shareholders also get profit during a winding up. So not only the distribution of assets, but they, if there is any extra profit left after uh, distributing the asset, then even in that share, uh, that profit also they will get a share. So participating preference shareholders. The next is renewable preference shares. So these can be bought back by the company. Other types, non-voting shares. So commonly it is given to employees and they don't have voting rights. The next is sweat equity shares to employees or directors as a reward for their work it is given. Case law. Buenos Aires Great Southern Railway Co. RE. So preference shareholders cannot compel directors to pay dividend. So they cannot force directors to pay their dividend. Rights and privileges of shareholders. So what are the rights and privileges of a shareholder? First is to receive dividends in proportion to their share. So whatever the amount of share they have paid to that uh, the amount they get a dividend. The next is right to vote. In a general meetings, they have right to vote, then appoint directors. They can appoint or remove any director. Then inspect the company records and books of accounts. Then participating decision making in important matters. Then receive notice of meetings. Whenever a general meeting is to be conducted, they have to receive notice. Then transfer shares. They can transfer their shares subject to the conditions and articles. Then privilege of limited liability. They can limit their liability in the share come in the company. Then a right to preemption. If a shareholder is selling his share, then the first offer is to be done to other shareholders. The next important concept is buyback of shares under section 68. So the buyback of shares can be done only through pro no, these sources only, limited sources of the company only. So the, these sources are freezes of the company, then securities premium account, then process of an earlier issue. Only from these three sources, buy, the sold shares can be bought back. 
and formalities in doing that. First, mention it should be mentioned in article that the company can buy back their shares. Then a special resolution should be passed regarding that. And 10% if the share they are buying is 10% or less, then a board of directors can buy it in their meeting. The next contents of notice for special resolution. What the special resolution should contain in the notice? First is material facts of buying the shares. Then a necessity to buy why they are buying the shares back. Then class of security intent they are intending to buy. Then amount that will be called uh, the cost of the share. Then time limit for completion. Then company should not go insolvent after buying the shares. After buying file written with the Security Exchange Board of India. The next important concept is dividends, meaning so share of the profit that falls to the share of each individual member of the company is called a dividend. So after every year the company receives profit, so that profit is divided among shareholders of the company or the members of the company. It is called as a dividend. So payment of dividends. How the dividend is paid? There are two fundamental principles of paying dividend. First is it is never to be paid out of the capital of the company. Next, it is paid only out of profits of the company. So sources of paying dividends. What are the sources of the company to pay dividends? Section 193. So the profits of the company for the year dividend is paid. So whatever the company gets dividend for that profit on that year, on that from that profit the dividend is paid. The next is undistributed profits of previous financial years. So if the in the previous financial year they have not distributed uh, the dividend, so from that profit also they can distribute dividend. The next is monies by state government or central government given as a guarantee by government. So if the government has given a guarantee, then uh, the whatever the money they receive out of that guarantee, the dividend can be paid. Case law Lee versus New Chattel. If capital becomes a wasting asset, then dividend can be paid out of it. So if the company's capital is just wasting or there, it has no purpose and is just getting wasted, then out of that the dividend can be paid. Leave versus new shutter. Important case law it is. Section 70. Prohibition of buyback. So when a company is prohibited from buying back their shares, first if it, it is done through other company, so the buyback is done through other company, the next is not file annual return under section 92. Then default in paying dividend under section 123 or not financial statement. Thanks for watching. This concludes the interview.